G'day viewers, sun's out, Barbie's on, it's Australia Day. And that's a real word, that's not trying to be funny, that's just how people say it. Australia. You know, I'm kind of sick of, you see the dictionary saying, word of the year, it's twerk. I refuse to read the dictionary until the word of the year is Australia. Because that's, you know, our contribution to the world at the moment, really. Got to learn about Australia. Now, with Australia Day, which marks white settlement in Australia, that has not been a universal good for a lot of people. So some people have issues with being too gung-ho and jingoistic about it. I have one rule on Australia Day. Don't be a dick. Now, I know people who are in the big, Woo! I've got fucking Australia flag boxes. Oh, I love my country. Look at my Australia flag. Hey, Woo! And then I'll say, and my mate dads will say dumb shit like, Why? Oh, you know what? You gotta love Australia. You gotta be like this because that's what the diggers fought for. That's why the diggers died at Gallipoli. Well, the diggers died at Gallipoli because of some really fucking shit military decisions. But I'm also willing to bet for all the honour and the bravery you may ascribe to the diggers, I'm not imagining some bloke knee-deep in mud, surrounded by body parts of his mates, um, wondering whether he's going to die from a bullet, uh, mortar shell, or dysentery. Uh, I don't think you think, geez, this will all be worth it if years down the line, some un uneducated, drunken fuckwit thinks, ooh, I can do whatever I want, yay diggers. I really don't think that was uppermost in their mind. I don't think that's what they were thinking about. On the other end of the spectrum, people want to talk about uh, Invasion Day. Oh, yeah, I, I can't help thinking they're just trying to make themselves feel good sometimes. I'm actually okay. Some of my Aboriginal mates calling it Survival Day. I kind of get that. Like, you know, checking out some Aussie tunes on Australia Day, put on some Archie Roach, does some great tunes. Archie Roach was a bloke about my age, was taken away from his family because he was a black fella. No other reason. Don't listen to anyone who says the stolen generation wasn't real. It wasn't something we should be worried about. As blokes, girls, people my age being taken away from their families because they weren't regarded as people. They didn't have rights. Some people are still a bit touchy about that. Go figure. But wherever you are on that spectrum, my rule is don't be a dick about it. I'm willing to let you have your views. People are different. But Jesus, don't be a complete fucking arsehole is what I'm saying. And I can, strangely enough, disagree with people and be okay with that. A brown-skinned friend of mine who happens to be a comedian caused a bit of a stir on the Twitters when he said um, he liked that someone uh, spray-painted Captain Cook's cottage, which I think was a dick move, but he said, oh, I think it should wake a few people up into thinking it's not all hunky-dory and colonialism is bad. And yeah! Bad shit happened, and I'm not real keen on people who like to pretend bad shit didn't happen. But to call me crazy, but I think graffiti in Captain Cook's cabin is his cottage is is gonna just piss off a bunch of people who weren't pissed off before you did it. I don't think that's what I'd call winning friends, winning hearts and minds. And I'll also go on out on the limb, and I reckon whoever did it was a gutless little pussy. You wouldn't say boo to a goose in person. That's my guess. Okay. But, you know, I was able to disagree with my friend without saying, go back where you came from. Because if you can't appreciate different people, um, you know, I just think you're fucking boring. Honestly, I mean, what would Saturday night be without a kebab? I know that's really shallow, but I'm a really shallow person. And I like the diversity again in Australia. The idea of, mmm, Saturday night, I think I'll have boiled mutton because I'm proud of my English ancestry and that's what I'll eat. Yeah, a pork pie! No, you know, there's nothing wrong with pork pie, but I like a bit of variety is what I'm saying. And I like variety in people. So, if you look at Australia Day or any country's national day, you only get the people at the two extremes. Everyone's different. Everyone uh, has a different experience of life and wants different things. But I think, you know, my rule can't hold for a and I have to admit I stole it from Will Wheaton. It's basically Wheaton's law. When you're doing stuff, whatever you do, don't be a dick about it. 
It's not going to have a Barbie, and it's going to be good, and no one's allowed to be a dick about it.